Hey everybody, we're back out at the Tesla solar roof installation on this particular project here just north of San Antonio. And uh, this is th the third part in this series of the installation. Now part one, we talked about the preparation, the removal of the old roofing material and getting everything ready for the installation of the solar roof. In part two, we talked about the underlayment layer that was installed, and this is to provide that uh, surface that uh, seals the roof and allows for the installation of the solar panels. And today, I'm joined by uh, Carson Blair. He is the owner of Victa Energy, and this is the company that is installing the solar roof on this particular project. So thank you very much for coming out today and uh, talking about this solar project. Yeah, absolutely. It's a pleasure, pleasure meeting you, Joe. Thanks for coming out. and and uh, take, take the time to shoot the video and talk through the project. Well, awesome. Now, uh, can you give a little bit of overview about your company and your experience with the solar roofs? Yeah, absolutely. So, um, so effectively, we build um, off-grid capable homes um, and build sustainable backup solutions for homes and communities um, really across the country. Mm -hmm. And um, our primary focus is the solar roof and uh, the Tesla ecosystem, bringing the full stack of the Tesla energy products into homes and, and communities around the country. So excited to show this to you today and talk through a little bit of what, what goes into an install, what goes into the planning process, all the above. Well, awesome, because I know there's a lot of people interested in the solar roof and they've heard about them, but they don't know all the details. Um, one of the things I think would be good just to kind of an, uh, as an overview is, can you talk about some of the variables that go into a design of a solar roof? What do you look at? What is part of the installation design and some other considerations that you have? Yeah, yeah, great, great question. Because um, there's actually a lot that goes right. into that. Um, so I guess there's, there's two main components. There's the, the building and the structure itself. Um, and then there's also the homeowner and, and their goals. Okay. Um, so every homeowner is going to have different goals that they want from their system. Um, some folks are going to want to offset their electric bill. Some folks looking for more just the aesthetic need to kind of um, check a box for the state of California or okay. so. Okay. Um, other folks want to have parties when the power goes out. Mm -hmm. um, so we can, we can do all that. Um, so take those in consideration and then you, you go into the design of the roof and take a look at the mounting planes that you have, all the different surface areas, um, where can you get the production to meet those homeowners goals, mm -hmm. um, all those types of things. And then after those two variables, we're able to kind of create and, and craft a, a layout of the roof and we can mix the active tile portions with all the non-active tile portions and create the energy production and, and storage goals for the customer. Okay. Well, very cool. So. It, it's, uh, suffice it to say, every installation is kind of unique. There's not one standard thing that, uh, you know, if I say I want to get a solar roof, you just come up yeah. and say, this is it. So you have to do a lot of work before you start putting the roof onto the, uh, the building. Is that correct? Absolutely. Every single one of these are uh, very custom designed. It's much more of a, a tailored suit approach mm -hmm. um, than it is just taking a, say, a conventional panel and off, off the rack on there. Okay. So very, very um, intentional design that goes, goes into the process. And then, of course, very careful um, planning that goes into it. A lot of engineering is done by the Tesla team. Um, and then, obviously, a very, very skilled and, and careful installation. Okay. Well, you know, some people, when they see the solar roof that is installed, it looks like it's one contiguous mm -hmm. uh, piece of uh, solar panel. Uh, that's not actually true. Can you talk a little bit about how the solar roof is put together and kind of the modular approach that uh, Tesla uses with the solar roof? Yeah, yeah, I'm glad, glad you said that because that's kind of the, the magic of right. the roof is it all all looks seamless, all looks like a all looks like a sleek um, black slate. <laughs> right. So um, I, I think that's you know one of one of the original goals that, that Elon had when he created the roof was okay. Um, we need to make solar sexy. We need okay. to make it all aesthetically right. attractive. Um, and so he he accomplished that with the the solar roof. And so from the outside, it all looks like just that seamless slate, mm -hmm. um, and you can't really tell where the active solar panels are. Um, most of our customers walk up or uh, when we take people to a job site and they look up and they see, oh my gosh, that's powering the home. Mm. Yeah, it's, it's kind of cool, but most people just would never know. Okay, well, you know, so that, that's really cool to, to hear that. Um, so when you look at the roof, there's portions that have the solar photovoltaic cells and then there's mm -hmm. other parts. And there's these different modular pieces that go into that. So I know you have a display here. Uh, if you would like to just discuss, uh, discuss some of the various parts and what do they do? 
Yeah, so the, the heart of the system here is, is the photovoltaic tiles, which you see right here. So what we have is tempered glass here, so an extremely durable product. Um, Elon joked that he uh, originally thought about making the warranty on the product Infinity. Oh, but yeah. <laughs> he, he didn't think people would believe him, so uh, went ahead and slapped 25 years on there okay, as the warranty. Yeah. But um, crazy, crazy durable tempered glass. Um, and then on these panels, you can see if you get some direct light through there, you can see the active photovoltaic cells mm -hmm. um, in here. And then if you look at the, the back of the panel, you can see the, the dual redundant diodes right here okay. um, that are transferring all of our electricity and the DC current across the roof. And then you also see these, these clips here that will allow each panel to, to kind of snap into the layer below it. Okay, now is this a, a standard size or do they come in different mm -hmm. sizes? Yeah, all the all the active tiles are 45 inches by 15 inches. So okay. this is your standard um, active tile size right here. Okay. Now, how does this sit on, or how is it attached to the roof? Um, so the back of back of these has each little clip that you will okay. clip into the row below it. Okay. And then these up here that are called the feet. Um, will actually be screwed into the deck. Okay. And so they'll be screwed into the deck through the underlayment, underlayment self seals, um, and then the subsequent row will be snapped on top. Okay, so that's the importance of that underlayment layer that you put in on the second part of this video is so that when you do the affixing mm -hmm. and use the screws on the roof, it self seals. Correct. It's The underlayment's actually a, a very impressive product itself. Um, okay. The underlayment Underlayment serves as the water protective barrier, um, also allows the, the product to pass NEC code. So we have obviously a lot of electric material straight on the wood, um, and it's also wildly durable. Okay. So, um, Tesla, Tesla did a great job working on that product as well. Awesome. So when you get all the uh, solar photovoltaic shingles installed, what is the next thing that you do? Um, so what we'll do is we'll continue um, those rows of active tiles and then as we get closer to some of the edges we'll use some of these partial non-active tiles okay. and again it's the same tempered glass, um, black backing, it attaches the same same exact way um, but this continues the seamless look all the way okay. through the continuation of the roof until we get to say this is a, a good piece of this is a good visual to show the, the flashings that, that we use in the valleys. And this is actually an, an adjustable piece right here. Um, so we transition into these metal um, flashings. And this is how we can fabricate, bend, make everything look very smooth. And, and this is where your, your metal roofing skill set really comes into play. Okay. And you can make it look like the same textured look all the way across the roof. And it gives you that um, just nice, nice clean aesthetic. Okay. So basically there's, there's three kind of pieces. You have the solar photovoltaic shingles. You have the glass panels that look like that and kind of the filler panels in and then mm -hmm. you use these metal flashing panels to finish up the edges and uh, various parts of the roof so you get that seamless look. Mm -hmm. yeah. Absolutely and you have a few different things like some supports um, under some of the metal pieces you have the hip and ridge caps that'll go on okay. the top of the crest um, those type things and you'll, you'll see those later in subsequent phases of okay. the build. Now um, yesterday when I was here one of the first things that you were doing is putting metal flashing on the, the roof and you talk a little bit about what does the metal flashing do? Yeah so um, a, lot of, a lot of what we were doing yesterday is setting up the, the edge metal and also the starter rail. Okay. Um, so we talked about how each tile clips into the one below it. Um, so when we're starting out the project we start out the bottom row with what's called a, a starter rail. And so that first row of tiles can snap into that. So okay. if you kind of think of it similar to how a painter sets all their outlines um, on, on their surface area, and then after that, go in and paint and fill all the area, mm -hmm. that's kind of what we were doing on day one. Okay, and of course, as part of the project, you do all of this uh, installation. Absolutely. Okay, mm -hmm. so uh, when you put the solar photovoltaic shingles on, you have these other devices here. Can you talk about mm -hmm. what are those and what is, what is the purpose of those? For sure. Um, so it's called a, a mid-circuit interrupter. Okay. Um, everybody will refer to it in kind of short as an MCI. Okay. Um, and so what we do is we install these um, between every 10 active panels. And these serve as exactly that, a, a safety mechanism that's a circuit interrupter. So if there's any overproduction of, of current, it can shut down and protect the roof, um, protect the entire system. Okay. So it's kind of a, kind of a, just a a breaker, if you will, that's another layer of safety mechanism. Okay. So if you do have a problem with the roof and it detects that fault, does it shut the entire roof down or only a certain section? 
it can um, they can shut down individual sections or they can shut down the, the entire roof. Okay. Um, so there's there's multiple protective mechanisms built in. And of course, the entire solar array itself, just like a conventional solar array, um, will have a manual um, shutdown as well that a technician can walk up and shut down power to the entire home. Um, so a technician from the utility company during an outage can come out and service the property and it's safe. No electricity is being generated from the roof um, and they're not going to be touching anything that's hot. Okay. So me as the owner with uh, a roof and I have a problem like that, how do I know? Does it show up in the app or how does that work? You'll, what you'll see is, so you'll see um, actual production um, on your app, mm -hmm. and you'll you'll notice basically a, a deviation in your, your power output. Okay. Um, so say a row or a string um, or part of your inverter isn't functioning properly, what you'll see is a, an abnormal deviation in your production. Okay. Um, so you'll notice the production drops. Um, we can also see, we have a... a a screen that's called a power hub okay. where we have access and visibility into um, the functioning components of the system and we can also see the the, act, the um, production going on in your system so mm -hmm. we can also notice a, a deviation in, in the production and you know no, uh, notify the homeowner hey we've we've noticed this and we can come out and send a technician to service the home okay well that's really cool now uh, one other question i have on that is um, with the modular nature of the solar roof, if there were a problem on a small section, do you have to like take the whole roof off, or how do you how do you make that repair? Yeah, uh, that's another another thing that Tesla thought through very mm -hmm. well. And so, if there was anything going on with a certain um, tile or a certain wire, you can't actually just go out and pop up that single tile, um, replace that single tile. And so, all of them are, are very independent, very modular. Um, and you can just pop them up, replace them in one. So it's not like uh, a metal roof where, you know, if one's, one's right. damaged, you'd have to rip up the whole thing and then rip up the one next to it and go all the way top to bottom. So um, the, the servicing aspect of it is, is a lot more modular. All right, modular. well, that's cool. So uh, just a couple other parts of this, you know, mm -hmm. you, with this, you have the whole roof installed, but that's not it. There's a few other components. Can you talk a little bit about what those are? Yeah, certainly. So. Um, the roof is going to obviously protect the home. It's going to produce all the power. <laughs> and then um, what we're going to do from there is obviously the production will go through and it'll actually pass through the roof. Um, so this is what we call our pass-through box right here. And so what you see is the, the piece that will actually mount flush on the deck of the roof. Um, and then we can run those wires that are behind the active PV um, into our home runs. Okay. Then our home runs run into here. And then we can drop into the attic and make sure we have a watertight seal going into the attic here. Okay. And then once we drop into the attic, then we'll, of course, we'll go straight into um, metallic conduit, uh, more flexible, flexible metallic conduit, and drop in and run, run all the way into the inverter. Okay. Now, you mentioned a, a, a term, home run. For the audience that doesn't know what that is, what is home run? Uh, home run. I'm could be could be a dinger in yeah. baseball, um, <laughs> or it can be just your your run that's going to run from your string, your array okay. um, of your active panels that's going to run all the way into your inverter. Okay. And on this particular project, what we're using is the the Powerwall Plus, where we have um, the solar inverter that's um, integrated with the battery. So you'll have the uh, inverter casing that's sitting right on top of the battery. So we'll convert the DC into AC, um, and then we'll be able to store it right there and then be able to redistribute it throughout the home. Okay, well, that's pretty cool. So at least in this particular installation, it's kind of a full solar roof, power wall, the whole thing. Uh, do you mm -hmm. have to have power walls to get a solar roof? Uh, you don't have to. Um, it is it is strongly rec okay. recommended. Okay. Um, most folks that are are making the investment into the solar roof uh, want the ability to use that that energy um, after hours after the sun goes down. Um, also want to have that outage protection in the event of um, any kind of grid outage to to have power supplied to their home. And uh, what's actually really cool about Tesla and how their how their system operates and um, the actual gateway is that. The only experience that the homeowner will have during a, a power outage is they'll look down, they'll get a notification that says, mm -hmm. um, just to let you know your, your home is operating in off-grid mode. Okay. Um, and so they won't notice anything that their power went out in their home. They won't see, have to reset their clocks, any of that. Mm -hmm. um, so it is a really cool, seamless homeowner experience. All right. Well, well that's, uh, you know, it's really great just to, to be able to talk and see how all this stuff works together. Now, what we see right now is the crews are getting ready to install the actual... <laughs> Uh, solar roof. Um, so 
what I'll try to do is come back a little later when more of the solar roof is on, mm -hmm. just so I can get some uh, of the images. And then when it's complete, I will do just a follow-up uh, video on that as well. But, uh, you know, I hope that you all found at least this part of the uh, project uh, interesting and I really do appreciate Carson your time coming out showing us all the various parts and allowing us to come out and see what uh, what this installation is like so sure. do you have any final thoughts for the uh, audience um, come check us out on victorenergy.com um, we'll, we'll design any type of energy solution that you're looking for all right well thank you very much I appreciate awesome. it pleasure Joe thank you very much